Hey, what is up? And welcome to this update to Cine Designer for Unreal Engine 5. In this video, we're going to be mostly focusing on how to use this new camera rig here, this telescopic crane. And we'll also be looking at some of the new light stands, or rather, we're looking at them right now. Kind of beefier crank stands, we have a couple new lights that you can see in play right now. And also, a uh, big picture, we have a new soundstage kit that I'm using to just roughly recreate uh, real world sound stages, kind of like really big ones. And uh, it's going to give us a better environment for Lumen so that the lighting is going to kind of bounce and we'll have reflections and whatnot. And it's also just uh, kind of fun, just feels like you're actually in uh, a bit of a virtual movie studio. So uh, disclaimer, this scene here is not included. If you're watching this, the MetaHuman is not included. This clothing is the work brand clothing that I make that is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And the rest of the rocks and the railing, they are, you may have guessed it, just mega scans. So just to be really clear uh, before we get started, what is included in Cine Designer as of this release is this soundstage, uh, the film equipment, the virtual camera crane, but not the metahuman, not the environment. The psych well does come. I'm going to make better ones than that, though. Let's get right into it. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5 in a little scene that I have customized myself. I've added the metahuman, I've added the set and whatnot. However, you're not going to have this to start. So we're going to do this tutorial based on what you'll be uh, starting with from scratch. So uh, please uh, import the Cine Designer assets. If you have an old project, you will need to use the new ones. I don't believe it allows you to like actually update them. So start a new project, import the Cine Designer assets. What you'll see now is if we go to demo and maps, um, I have a bunch more, but what's going to be new is, that one won't be there, I don't think, is going to be this one, yes, stage three, sound stage. So I recommend, again, right click duplicate, it's stage three. I, you see that I've done this a couple times. I'm gonna just write tutorial. You wanna duplicate it so you don't destroy the original. You can get it back by remigrating it in, but you know, a little bit safer. So let's open this up. And here we are in kind of our generic version of that scene. Uh, what I want to zoom back out and show really quickly, it is very dark outside. We don't have any exterior lighting. But what we have to start is this new studio folder. And this is going to just have all these pieces that make up this studio. You can kind of ignore it if you want. Or if you're into modular building, you could try to make it even bigger. Uh, that's up to you. I think eventually we're going to turn this into just one blueprint, but for now, we have the new studio mesh just in the folder there. Uh, sliding in, we are going to check out some of the new stuff before we get right into the camera. Uh, on the left here, we have our filmmaking UI. It has been updated to have crank stands, which we can, by default, uh, the spawner should be put back here. And if we click these out, um, actually I've recorded this, I need to go switch the spacing is a little screwed up, but here's some new stands, some other ones. Again, the spacing is kind of gonna be wonky for a second here. And we have some new lights, a bigger LED panel and uh, two new um, LED heads here. And I guess really quickly, while we're just gonna demo this here, we're gonna reconnect these here and I'll put this one on this one. We'll just delete these for now. The spawning spacing uh, hopefully is fixed before I actually ship this. Uh, let's grab um, our crank stand. Just gonna bring these a little bit more into the light. And I'm not going to use them in this demo. We're gonna mostly look at the cameras, but uh, the light stands work very similar to other light stands. They're the same class pretty much behind the scenes so they can go up. This one's really tall, so uh, we'll just keep it there. And you can close them if that's something you wanted to do. That's uh, not the most important thing in the editor version right now. And you'll notice that this one looks especially odd, but none of these will actually output light until you select them, pick the gallery. We can put a diffusion panel on there. It works like the other kind of rec lights. And with this one, it's not the right class, so it's gonna switch out. We have a Fresnel with barn doors and we have a, a large softbox. So they're effectively the same kind of rectangle light that's in there but they take up a different footprint. And you know, if you're using this with someone who's uh, used to being on set, they are quite different types of lighting units. So that covers the new lights, the new stands. 
And what we also have, actually, I forgot about that. You have to delete this too, is that we have our menace arms. Uh, I completely forgot about those. Let's cover those really quickly. Uh, they're going to spawn out in kind of a funny way. They are here. So this is uh, just like a beginning kind of test for this. I'm going to spawn a quick LED light. And we can connect these just like you would any light to any stand, pretty much. And that's a very scary rig. I would not recommend probably doing this in real life. But I wanted to start to have visualizations for um, different types of grip equipment. This is just one of the first. I would feel maybe slightly better on this one. Delete this here. And we'll bring it into the light, but uh, this is still a bit of a sketchy rig, I I would say, in real life. Uh, to use a menace arm on a sky panel 360, they are very large. But this is going to work just like a light stand. It goes up, 0.5. Uh, and I believe we have tilt on the boom, though I like keeping them straight. But certainly, uh, we've at least programmed it in. And then you would come up here and probably tilt it down at that point. Depends on the scene. Uh, I will try to eventually make some content on like how you would actually use this in real life, if that's important at all. And we'll see that we have another boom here in this demo scene. So just kind of like the new stuff that's uh, in this update. So now let's get into the camera here. I'm going to dock to sidebar, dock to sidebar. Working with cameras in Unreal Engine is a little bit more complicated um, then other operations like setting up the lights and if you use Cinetracer, this is a lot more complicated, but this is the Unreal Engine 5 way. What we can do to start is select our crane. You'll see in the outliner, it is just a skeletal mesh actor. There's no wrapping class around it. It's just a skeletal mesh. Inside of it is a cinema camera, just a stock cine camera, and I'll show you how to set this up from scratch, but just want to do a quick little demo here. Uh, we should have a pre-made sequence here. It might be a little different by the final version, but you can open it. And uh, we have a dead reference. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this back. Assign actor. We're going to go find our crane. Should be this. There we go. So if you've never seen this before, this is a sequencer. And it's going to be how you control this camera. But just as an example, you'll see that we have a bit of a crane animation just so that you can kind of get started and see what's going on. One way to see what's going on in this camera is to select the camera at the end and hit pin. Then when you deselect, um, you will be able to see through it. And this is kind of for like setting up and um, kind of doing the keyframes. Another way to do this though is going to be selecting this camera here and you would add it to the sequencer. And now we're looking through that camera and this is how you would render it out. Uh, if you wanted to render this out and show it to a client, this would be that workflow. So this is not really any different than um, on pilot the Cine camera. This is no different than you know your standard movie render queue pipeline for rendering. We just have a rig, this crane rig, that's going to allow you to move the camera in a somewhat more um, realistic way if you're using cranes on set. And of course, you get the behind the scenes. So one of the main things that's different about the cameras is that you're not going to find the cameras in here. These are just for the lights for now. To find these, I'm hitting control space. You'll see my mega scans I was using. We go to Cine Designer. This is deep. So meshes, crane, and there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You want the purple one, the skeletal mesh. This is what we're going to be using. And that for now is how you find it. We're going to spin it around this way. Uh, this is just some lighting stuff. I'm going to put it in there just to try to make this clear what's happening. And this is our metahuman. I'm going to also hide him. Not that important for this demo. So effectively in the scene right now is just this crane. And what you need to make this work is you need to go to place actors. This is like the stock place actors from Unreal Engine. And we need a cine camera actor. So... At the moment of recording this, we don't have a automated way of connecting these two, but it's not too bad. We're going to take this camera and just drag it on top of crane. And we're going to very importantly choose the attach bone or socket. Um, in details now, we can pretty much go to general for just now for a second. And we're going to reset both of these. So this is now connected. We have a bit of an offset issue here though. So we're just going to rotate this camera 90 to place it forward. And then um, we may have a more scripted way of doing this that's a little bit more consistent in the future. You can just kind of 
roughly place this in here. Um, for now, there's no real world equivalent as far as like where you should put that. That might come in the future though. And we are all set. That is the setup. It is a skeletal mesh where you basically attach a camera and we're going to use the default Unreal Engine way of doing that. So what's different now is that when you select this, you're like, what is all of this? This is all irrelevant to you. Um, as far as this crane, this is developer stuff. And if you go to general, you can change the mesh and the material. You don't really want to do that. How do you make this thing move is the question. So what we're going to do is go up here and we're going to do add sequence. Uh, for me, I'm putting this in a folder I'm calling sequences here. You'll see that I've made a couple for the demos and whatnot. I'm going to call it crane shot tutorial and put that somewhere nice. And we get sequencer. And very importantly, we have switched now to, or we're going to switch to it very soon to animation mode and a bunch of stuff pops up, but we're going to select our crane. We're going to select this down here and we're going to add it to sequencer. I'm going to let go and float out. So your situation may have changed a little bit more than mine. We are now in animation mode. Default, we are in selection mode. So that's a little bit different if you haven't done this before. We're in animation mode and a bunch of these things might have popped out like this. I just, again, docked us. I just docked those to the sidebar. We have a bunch of animation outliners and stuff like this. This stuff's a little bit more advanced. I just kind of tuck it away uh, just to get like as minimal uh, UI up here as we can. And you'll see our crane. And most importantly, you'll see all of this new stuff down here. Like what, what are these controls? Well, if you open up this down here, these are the controls for controlling the crane. This is a control rig that I've written. And this is how you would uh, animate it. I would recommend turning this on, make it blue. This is going to automatically drop keyframes. And we're gonna hit this little plus button. And so now we've saved this position here and we're gonna slide down to about 90. You can change the frames per second. This is all standard Unreal Engine animation stuff. And we can set another keyframe. Nothing changes over time, but we'll just hang out down here and look at these controls. So these are control rig controls here. And if we grab this one, this is going to boom the camera up. This one, the most fun one, is going to extend the crane like this and just destroy our actor right through the face. You don't want to do this in almost any case, really. And what you'll see now is that this is being uh, animated for us, the in-betweens. You may not want to animate it like this, but I'm just kind of showing you the raw mechanic. Over here is going to swing the arm back and forth. So we'll put it here for now. This is not going to be a good shot by the end, but we're just showing mechanics up and down on the arm. And I might scoot in a little bit closer, changing the view here. And if you want to take control of the head up there, the remote head, this is pan. And this right here is tilt. But you're like, hey, I can't see the view. You're going to want to, again, select the actual cinema camera. You could add it to sequencer if you're going to keyframe it. That's probably a great idea. But you want to pin this for now. So try to line up a view where you can see this and you can see the behind the scenes. And that is generally how we're going to be animating these cameras, and then it's up to you to be good at animation. There's curves, there's all sorts of stuff, but that is how you animate a camera in Unreal Engine. That's as simple as I thought I could make it uh, while giving us all the controls we need. And if you spend some time, make your timeline longer and um, add the camera in there, do focus and actually light up the seed, you'll get a demo, you know, as good or better than the one that I made of our actor walking on the little platform with the bridge. Cool, so that wraps it up for this video and this update to Cine Designer for Unreal Engine 5. We have more equipment, that's good. The plan is to continue to add more equipment. And um, this is our first look at our camera rigs. It took me a little while to figure out how best to control them in Unreal Engine 5 for the sake of, or the context of previs, right? So these aren't game objects where you hit play and they're not interactive like Cine Tracer, uh, if you use that or familiar with it. This is really, we're in Unreal Engine 5 to make cinematics. We're going to use movie render queue. We're going to take screenshots and we're just using it for planning mostly, not gameplay. Um, probably not for like final pixel animations, though who knows? Um, that might be fun to use them in that way. But this was the design that I came up with for doing cameras. So the next, I can't say when the exact next update would be or what it will have, but the plan is to add like camera dollies and more systems that involve uh, animation, and those would specifically be for the cameras. More LED equipment. 
I am pretty happy with this stage environment as just like a basic one, but I might be adding um, more content like that just to kind of get people started and working in a proper Lumen environment that's enclosed and not just like, you know, the blank vacuum of space. Uh, Lumen really likes an environment to reflect and to bounce light in. So that wraps it up. Uh, the camera's a little bit more advanced depending on where you're coming from, uh, from an Unreal Engine and animation point of view. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, but like I said in um, earlier in the video, the Cine camera, movie render queue sequencer, that is all stock Unreal Engine 5. So if you follow anyone's tutorials regarding those things and lighting settings and stuff like that, well, lighting is a little nuanced, but generally that stuff is all going to be correct and applicable to using Cine Designer and Unreal Engine 5. There's nothing specifically that we do differently with the cameras. We're just using the stock camera. I will see you on the next video. Peace.